What's up? Um, this is Matt and Chris. Matt's on crack. Or smacks the Matt. One of those. <laughs> Matt, Matt is a very happy person, even though today there's not a lot of reasons to necessarily be happy. Today has been a crazy day. Um, we woke up late. Today was great. That was really nice picking up late. Oh, we yeah. Sleeping a little bit. It was nice. Um, we got up, we went uh, to the market with some girls that were infatuated with. That we were infatuated with. Um, nice English girls, very nice English girls. Actually, Chris invited to the market. Um, but actually, through a series of events, we went swimming and we got out of the pool a little late and then we had problems. My bag, <laughs> for lack of a better word, my, my backpack exploded. literally exploded. Yeah. So I had to buy another pack, um, so for my backpack, and then... Which, if you can see it right here, it's not a bad pack, I mean, that's a lot of pack. Yeah, all that for 15 euros is about 20 bucks, 18 bucks. So I was, I was pretty happy, pretty happy. Um, but... 15, 15, we'll do that. Exact same thing, 15, we'll do that. Oh, shh. I hurt. Wait, I'm good. that's the other word. I'm good. Um, did that. We waited for the bus to get to the bus stop, probably shoot 30 minutes. Yeah, half an hour. So, I, I, right there, put us behind together. By the time we finally got to the train station, got on the train, we barely made our first train. That's because it was late. When we, the train pulled into the next station 15 minutes late, pulled into Milano 15 minutes late. So, we just thought, you know, we still had 30 minutes. We thought, okay, we got on the train to Barcelona, we'll be fine. Well, Line was too long, we couldn't get yeah. reservations. Line was, the reservation line was too long. So we couldn't get reservations. We went to the train without, you know, we'll get on the train, we'll pay, we'll pay, you know, whatever kind of penalty they need yeah. to. The conductor wouldn't last on the train. Along with two other guys. Jerk off. It wouldn't last on the train. We didn't last, you know, Jerry pay. and, uh, oh, yeah, Jerry and Connie. Yeah, those no. two guys. I didn't meet them, but. Odie, Odie. His name was Odie. Odie and Odie. Jimmy. Like, Odie and Timmy, that's what it was. Odie and Timmy. Huh. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't last on the train at all, so we're like, we're, this sucks. We're going to be screwed. So then we thought, you know, we'll go to Paris. We'll go to Paris tonight, and uh, we'll go tonight there. Well, we'll tell them what happened when we tried to go to Paris. Uh, the Paris train was booked full. And then when you tried to figure out something else? Oh, well, the guy shuts down. He's like, I am closed now. I got can no longer help you. Sent me on the way, and then the international ticket sales closed down, which means we couldn't get reservations on any other trains out of here. Yep. So here we are in beautiful Milan, which I must say, there are a lot worse states than being trapped in the lawn overnight. I mean... We have a refrigerator, I just don't notice that. Mm -hmm. We have a mini fridge, a bathroom, a proper Wait. toilet. I'm not joking, we're in Italy, right? We have the same bathroom you saw in the video in Romania, the little yeah. pan in the bottom. Yeah, in the, in the, in the train station. And what's even worse, it was 70 cents to get in. I get in, I'm like, ew. But the nice thing is, this this uh, hotel, don't get me wrong, it's not cheap. I mean, we, we, thankfully, God worked it out. We we're paying years. 45 euros a night. 45 euros a night, that's about 50, 60 bucks. So to double what we've been paying everywhere else, but the fact that is, we kind of screwed up, you know, the fact that God still was able to give us a, the first place we tried, relatively inexpensive, vacancy, and with the ja ja giant amount of Japanese tourists that decided to hit this hotel. Um, Which who I met, I met two old couples in the, uh, in the elevator, and they said, it was, I, oh, just lit up my night. I mean, I, this is a great trip for me, I'm still right, even with this screw up, the fact that I got to meet those two old Japanese couples, and I, all I said was, hello, how are you, <clears throat> and uh, goodbye. And they, they loved it. I mean, they, they bowed. I mean, yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you that. That's awesome. Oh, so, they have these. That's my new Paul brothers. It's working out, you know, for the Milano thing. You know, even though we're missing out, I wish we could have gone to Barcelona. You know, we would talk so many things about how beautiful yeah. it is, about how things you get. I mean, sangria, we told you, you had to drink that there, and cream catalan, eat, and, uh, Bulls and that's not what you call an alcoholic. They go to meetings. He's more like a drunk. He just drinks. Cream Catalan is actually a dessert, not a drink. Cream Catalan is like creme bleue. Creme bleue, yeah. And uh, so we were sitting like a We've we been, we been, we been told so much stuff that we had to do in Barcelona. We were getting all excited and it didn't work out. And then we couldn't get, obviously, couldn't go to Paris for an extra night either because of. The reservation guy, because actually there was a pair, there was a train but in Paris. But our constellation. <laughs> oh yeah, see right there. That that was our constellation prize. No TV. No McDonald's. Oh, yeah. We uh, like I said, we could we could have been on a train leaving Paris, leaving for Paris, 
at about 2342, which is 1142, which actually hasn't that time yet. But the fact is, since it is Italia, it, everywhere else we've been, we would we would just risk it, got on the train and pay yeah. the fare. But Italians are very very efficient when their trains come. Um, we haven't we've yeah everywhere else we've gone we've either gotten three days or we've gotten you know free rides occasionally. But yeah, Italia, like, like when I went to uh, Istanbul, we were supposed to pay forty five euros and we pick it back with that in Hannah for four for five. Yeah, five euros all the way to Istanbul from Romania. But Italia is just not working, so we... I think it's a heater. I feel hot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's kind of sad we didn't go to Paris tonight. So we're stuck in Milano, but it's cool. We're going to go tomorrow. We're going to see... I mean, this is a model town, so we're going to see, you know, see probably all the shops and everything. That's going to not go in them. <laughs> but, uh... I'll, see go in. I'll make the models. Going to go in Louis Vuitton? Oh, yeah. I'm like, hey, I have one of your watches. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so like I said, we're in Milano, and we weren't playing it, we are actually, that's the weird thing, God's, God's a guy's sense of humor, I think, because, you know, obviously we screwed up, and he, but he, he provided for us, though, we screwed up, and he provided, and, uh, the thing is, the sense of humor is that, you know, originally, we were going to go to Rome, and then go back to Dublin, we just didn't know what to do, you know, we wanted to make one more stop in between, so, you know, my first thought was, I want to see Switzerland, which has been kind of cool to see, let me check the hostels there, are too expensive, and our my our second thought was actually Milano. We actually considered Milano before we we uh, decided to cast off. Then we actually finally picked Amsterdam. Actually booked in Amsterdam. Um, Which you're having to buy to book in Amsterdam and part of our still in our hostel bookings. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we to eat those. Yeah. But so we, we ended up <laughs> booking a, we ended up booking uh, Barcelona and and we didn't, we forgot to book, we forgot to cancel Amsterdam. So we're gonna have to eat both Amsterdam and Barcelona. But, you know, if there are worse things, I mean, you know, it's a great experience we've had. Like seeing Matt Topless? <laughs> I don't remember that. He must have gotten me really drunk. Um, but like I said, the fact that, the fact that uh, Milano, the fact that we're here, it just shows that God has been here. The fact that, you know, we had planned this one of our cities that we actually considered going to first before discounting it, and now we're here. So we're probably going to leave, most likely, unless we can get a really cheap hotel in Paris, uh, we'll probably end up leaving uh, to not, tomorrow night at about 11 o'clock. Same time, overnight train. Yeah, take an overnighter to Paris, get there early, have all day there, and stay the night, and then uh, leave early the next day. And I wish we had more time in Paris, but uh, you know what? Notre Dame, uh, the Louvre, Eiffel Tower. Tower de Eiffel. What? Tower de Eiffel. Tower de Eiffel. Champs de Lys. Oh, oh man, we only have a day in Paris. We're gonna get a metro pass, and we're literally gonna get actually running. your rail free dark pass on free metro. Oh really? Yeah. Free metro? Okay, we're gonna get your rail. We're gonna literally. It's get amazing what you can do once you learn to read. We're gonna be. We're gonna pretty much you know be running through the oh, running through the metros. I mean literally running. Cause I mean you see that many different things. I think and we just sign off like this. <laughs> this is Matt and Chris signing yeah. off. And that many what it was that, what it is, that many different the things. Jolly. <laughs> many different things. I was gonna say um, that we, all those things, and then we got some Louvre too, which I've been told it takes two or three days by itself. Yeah, it's like a mile long of exhibits. So we're gonna go in there, see the Mona Lisa, see some Michelangelo paintings, or some Leonardo da Vinci paintings, and we're gonna be gone, I think. So uh, yeah, back to home. We miss you guys. We do miss y'all. We would put, if we could, we would put you in a snow globe mm -hmm. and take you with us everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. Mark to the bathrooms. Bathroom. We want to take you to the bathroom, except for the bathroom. Yeah. So this is uh, Matt and Chris uh, untangling and signing off. off. And that's the way the cookie crumbles.